All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. It's still going to be cold for like another day or two. So anyway, uh, things should have been looking up, and it looked like it was, but I guess uh, the rich people have decided to sell everything off for whatever reason, um, despite co all these corporations making record profits and beating expectations. So is the microphone on? Yeah. So anyway, uh, and Coinbase is finally out, and like I predicted last Tuesday, the options are out on it. Now I'm not really going to bother looking at it, um, simply because... Uh, I guess there's no point. Well, I guess maybe we could. Uh, okay. Well, I don't know. My sibling said they were out, so I don't know why it's not showing up here. But if it just came out, that probably means Yahoo doesn't even, like, is, is updating things. But either way, I'll probably take a look at it, like, next week or something. But it could be an alternative to Riot. But the problem is, honestly, crypto is just being very, uh, very volatile right now. So pretty much like everything's going down, including all the other stock picks. Ah. And it's just annoying and frustrating because, um, you know, crypto does, believe it or not, crypto is actually more stable than stocks, but you make way more money with crypto and you can't lose your money. Unlike stocks where you actually can lose all your money. So it's like, what is the point? Like, I hate the idea of having to cancel or close my stock market account, but I may actually consider doing that after I pull out all my profits from it, of course. Because it's just, it's just a stupid bullshit, uh, and like, no point in having it kind of thing. Uh, which sucks, because I actually have a pretty high uh, level on it. It's a level 5 out of 7, so, you know, it's expected to make a lot of money. But I don't think I can... I just simply can't seem to figure out how to... Um, you know, make stock market returns just as good as, you know, crypto. I think it might actually be impossible, you know. So, uh, yeah. But, I mean, I made money off of Oracle yesterday, like a few hundred bucks, and I pumped it all into uh, CL Guff, which is also down today, which is actually fine. Wow, that's a lot, though, 15 cents. But it's down today because overall markets sell off, the pressure falling got to it, and crypto is still kind of jerking around. Uh, so let's see, Bitcoin's at 55.3k, so the good news is it looks like Bitcoin has finally stopped going down and is consolidating, and everything else is, uh, you know, doing the same thing. Uh, Dogcoin is still getting bought up a lot, but now it's actually down today, so, because there's a rich, there's a bunch of rich people deliberately hyper-pumping Dogcoin, and I find that kind of interesting, so... You know, will it crash? I'm not actually sure. I really don't know. Um, and of course, VJ doing very well, which is like the flagship coin here. Yeah, even Filecoin's recovered. Yeah, so right now it's just a stupid like sell-off, profit-taking market pullback, but it's just still annoying nonetheless. So, um, I don't know, but like when things get better for Riot, Bank of America, and ExxonMobil, I'm definitely going to be looking to just take some kind of profit and then I'll probably buy up a lot more CL Guff. I'll leave that in there. And then the rest will probably get withdrawn, pay for my bills. And then I'm actually thinking, like, I really don't want to do this, but I'm actually thinking about funding my Robinhood account. Because I always had one, but I just never used it. But I might actually fund my Robinhood account just to buy dog coin with US dollars. Um, the alternative would be to just buy through my usual fiat to crypto exchange. And then convert into like, and then buy Litecoin, for example, because I usually like using Litecoin. I don't like using Bitcoin. And then exchange that for Dogcoin, just hold Dogcoin. But on the other hand, I'm, you know, maybe I'll just buy more V Chain too. Because the problem with Dogcoin now is it's now it's like, what is it now? 30, 37 cents essentially. You know, if it crashes by 50% to like 18 cents, well, I guess 18 cents wouldn't actually be too bad. But it's still kind of up there, you know? But then again, VeChain's already at 24, but I get interest on VeChain, and VeChain's an actual real coin, so it's actually safer than dog coin. So, yeah. So, I mean, because at this point, I just can't deal with the fucking retarded markets. Now, the good news is Coinbase is now out. So, I will always have an option to just trade cryptocurrency stocks in the stock market, like real ones, like fucking Coinbase. You know, and I'll just trade that all the time. Uh, but, I mean, $322 a share... 
I mean, we're going to be looking at some extremely expensive call options on Coinbase, so it's like, ugh, it's, it's going to be rough. <clears throat> Let me see, what's another, okay, here's a good example. Let's look at Goldman Sachs. All right, because they have a similar price to Coinbase. So let's see how much a two-year call option on a Goldman Sachs is. Uh, 300 and so this actually is not that bad. It's around $4,500. So Coinbase doubles in price. Now the problem is you don't want to be buying or buying options during the crypto uh, bear market because it literally just stays flat or doesn't go anywhere. But it's a good time to probably sell options. But in that case, I'd rather just simply just get all stable coin and earn like interest. You know, five, three, three to seven percent interest a year, and then just live off of that. I mean, you don't have to, you don't have to do anything. It's like eat literally easy free money. And I'm pretty sure the interest will go up as the dollar crashes. Oh, that's the other thing too. The dollar is also crashing pretty well too. Uh, like it went down, like, uh, it's not here, but the Dixie went down like a dollar and then today it's up a little bit, but that's because everyone's like selling off and buying up bonds. So it actually looks like a typically normal day. It's just annoying because I want things to be going up, not down. And it's just stupid and retarded and whatever, but what are you going to do? And of course crude oil is down, but I mean, crude oil is not supposed to be at this price. It's supposed to be like 15 bucks a barrel. So. Um, I don't know. Those big banks better uh, call up Joe Biden and the administration and tell them, hey, you know, you need to give out more stimulus checks, you know, to, so we can, like, you know, pump the market some more. So, um, yeah. But aside from that, 10-year uh, yield, very stable. In fact, it's going down because if people are buying it today, yeah. So, very good. Dollar is up like it should be, I think. Okay, you know, we have to. Uh, let's just look up the stupid thing. Yeah, it's not even up that much. So it's going to go down a lot. And that's what we want, technically. Because if the dollar crashes, yeah, things will get more expensive. But everything that you do own, like stocks and crypto and stuff, literally anything that's considered stuff, is going to go way high up in price. So hold on, let me get my Star Trek Online thing here. So uh, yeah, that's what you want. Um, let's see. So profit taking after a week of record highs, especially in the S&P 500. Uh, let's see. Yeah. <clears throat> so Bank of America has been performing better than Exxon Mobil. So I'll probably be able to dump my Bank of America and then, I don't know, I'll buy more CL Guff or I'll just simply hold the cash because, um, because there's a $50 foreign exchange fee when I buy CL Guff, so it's actually kind of expensive. So it's best to just try to buy a lot of shares at once kind of thing. Um, let's see. So yeah, let me look at Riot one more time. But Riot's really the more irritating one. But this thing's not going to go way up until fucking stupid Bitcoin cryptocurrencies go up. Uh... But the problem is this thing is way oversold and people still keep dumping it. So at this point, this, like, uh, it's pretty obvious that see, this is why I don't like stock markets because of market manipulation. Now they're just simply shorting. They're trying to short the hell out of the stock, which is really annoying. Uh, but with that being said, at least when Bitcoin finally does get off its lazy ass and, you know, hits like 70, 75,000, 80,000, hopefully that should completely kill the shorts. At that point, um... We'll see how much profit all we'll have on Riot, and I'll, I'm actually going to consider probably changing them into Coinbase options. I'll have a lot less, but at least coin like you're not going to be able to manipulate Coinbase stock, all right? You know, like yeah, like you're 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 not going to be able to manipulate Coinbase, and if you do manage to somehow tank Coinbase prices, you're going to get completely killed as Coinbase goes up. So you know, it's just better off. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so it looks like the mommy eagle is out getting food for her eaglets. Well, that's my thing. Uh, let's see. What's actually happening in the bond markets? Yeah, for the most part, everyone's just buying it all up. Yeah. So, Dogecoin, Bitcoin <clears throat> are both rallying, but these cryptocurrencies are quite different. <clears throat> yeah, it's all manipulation. That's all it is. 
<clears throat> so that's that. Um, so this week, it looks like it's going to be a really shit week, unfortunately, because uh, it depends on how long, how much money these rich people want. But the news is Bank of America is hitting a bottom on the RSI. Over here, I didn't show it. But we can take a look, actually. So it's getting oversold. Yeah, look, this thing is oversold. Like, you can't sell this even anymore, so that's very good. Exxon Mobil is the biggest problem that I have. Um, because this RSI, like, it likes to just keep going down, and this RSI doesn't even move. It's, like, just so annoying. It, you know, it's just like a big, and it's a big company, too. It's, like, worth. 232.75 billion. So it's a massive company. <clears throat> <clears throat> and it's annoying too because oil went up. ExxonMobil didn't go up at all. So I don't know, but ExxonMobil is gonna behave like Oracle, where like it'll literally do nothing for like a month to two months and then it'll go straight up. Like, you know, straight gain, straight gain, straight gain. Like, you see over here at ExxonMobil. February and March was really good for ExxonMobil, up until the middle of March 15th. So, eventually it'll have its day. It'll go up, right? Because right now it's, like, all-time highs around 63, 62, 60. So, you know, I'll make money off of it. But the problem is, why would I want to put up with this shit when I could just simply buy Dog Corner V-Chain and then just simply have large amounts of consistent gains i mean hell even if i held filecoin right i already know where the price is going to be when it goes down which is basically 152 like this is where it actually is what it's worth and of course because it's crypto you can't manipulate it because there's not a lot of people allowing you to borrow coins to sell it which just doesn't make any sense because people will instantly buy it. So, like, the price doesn't even change. And you're paying interest. So, you know. <sighs> Crypto is just superior to stocks in every way. It's just frustrating. But, you know. I'm still going to try to make this work. Alright. So, I think in the future, stuff like CL Guff. I talked about that last week, I think. Because this is one of Greg's new stock picks. He's, it's very volatile and it's very risky. But I, I looked at it, the team looks pretty good, and they look like they know what they're doing, so, you know. And they're specifically focused on DeFi, so this thing will skyrocket when crypto and DeFi skyrocket along with it. It's one and the same. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, now right, it's at minus 12%. It makes absolutely no fucking sense, so it's obviously getting shorted. Let me see, I'm sure, uh, let me see if they have an article here talking about sh uh, how many asshole F-words are shorting the stock. <clears throat> by the insider monkey okay so let me just write it here yeah it's just getting yeah that's funny too because it's completely beating uh earnings too it literally makes no effing sense but you know uh oh that's the other thing too so china's power plants or whatever is still out and they said they won't be back up until uh later this week so that probably so that, see that's the other thing too when crypto sold off the stock started selling off too because it's the same rich people doing everything so that's why you know that's why i'm really like thinking about like yeah yeah this thing is completely over fucking sold because this thing doesn't actually update until later yeah this thing is at like fucking zero this is very frustrating very, and this thing's not even up there it's supposed to be minus 12 percent 3730, 3609. Yeah, very, very effing annoying. All right. Yeah, I definitely want to make shorting illegal in stock markets worldwide. Like, if, if fucking SEC was actually interested in doing something right, they would make it. Like, shorting as in you can't borrow shares, that's just sell it to manipulate the price. You could buy puts and stuff. That's a form of shorting. But you're not actually manipulating the price. You're just, it's a derivative. But actually shorting shit stock, like they were trying to do a GameStop, you should just not be able, you should just, you should make, that yeah, should just be illegal. So, I don't know, maybe someday when Nick Fuentes and me are like super at the top of our game, maybe we could look into something like that. Uh, mortgage forbearance, that's probably because their terms are expiring, but still need help, yeah. Alright, so anyway, I think that's it. I want to keep this video short, which is 
probably not going to happen because, yeah, we're already at 15 minutes. But anyway, it's probably going to be a shitty week. Uh, it could recover towards the end of the week, but crypto is definitely not recovering until next week. Yet again, very frustrating. But, you know, in the meantime, at least Riot's going to get oversold to, like, crazy. So, I mean, they're probably going to try to tank it to, like, $20 or 28 or something. But that's so oversold, so it might actually be cheap enough to buy another riot call, which I'm definitely gonna flip as soon as it like does something reasonable, uh, just to get some extra cash and then just cash out, because because this, this is just retarded, right? Riot goes down 11 percent, and cryptocurrency isn't even going down that nearly that much overall, right? In fact, some are going up a decent amount or stable. So, yeah, but, yeah, that's how it goes, so, but yeah, fuck the stock market, fuck these evil rich manipulator efforts, and, uh, you know, I mean, eventually we'll make profit, but, you know, I'd rather have half a million dollars consistently over several months rather than putting up with this dumb shit and then get all the money at the end. It's like, then what's the point, you know? Anyway, I'll see you all next Tuesday or after uh, the markets close, um, so you can watch my live stream, uh, where I'll probably complain more about it, but yeah. All right, thanks for watching, and see you next week.